Yeah, definitely exciting. We uh, just came down from an altitude training camp with uh, Coach Bowman, and that was a pretty exciting group to train with, and it just uh, shows the results of the whole year, but especially those, those couple weeks up at altitude in Colorado Springs definitely paying off here. And uh, it's, it's very exciting, um, especially like the freestyle events haven't been improving those as much as I'd want to in uh, previous years, but to kind of turn to some other events. But right now it seems like everything's really clicking and um, just a testament to uh, Coach Bowman and ASU's training that they've been giving me lately. Yeah, why do you think that you all of a sudden have all these best times? I think it's a lot more uh, belief in myself from uh, and just talking with Coach Bowman, the coaches at ASU, Derek Smith, uh, Rachel Stratton Mills, Dan Kessler, uh, just all of them having more like kind of confidence and making me believe in myself some more. Also, just raising the level of training that I'm at, the level of uh, not the dedication level, but the level of excellence that I require myself day in, day out, every set, every lap. Um, it's just elevated, and that's uh, that's the whole reason why I went to Tempe is to find that new level of excellence. And I thought no better way to. Uh, find that level than to be with the coach, one of the best coaches, in my opinion, the best coach of all time. How do you like the ASU? ASU is uh, everything I asked for and, and much, much more. It's been a phenomenal year and um, collegially uh, improved in every event I swam, um, whether that was as much as I wanted to or not, but uh, a best time is a best time at the end of the day. Learned uh, more than I thought was possible in less than a year. So really excited for what the future has to hold and um, really excited for the direction the team is going as well as uh, what the coaches are training us and bringing us forward to. How much did that point for you in the first day? How much did that help you the rest of the meet? It definitely got me a lot more excited. I, uh, the, the morning swim was my best prelim swim I've ever done for a 400 freestyle, but um, kind of didn't go after it as, as I should have. And uh, at night, just got the green light from the coaches. Didn't really care what happened. But uh, they knew they knew I could do it. I just had to kind of go out, put it out there, and uh, just have, again, belief and confidence in myself. We've done the training day in, day out. They knew I could do it. It just was a matter of if I told myself I could do it. So it was uh, definitely a big confidence boost because that was only the second time I've been under four minutes in uh, about four or three years. So uh, it's exciting to see those results starting to pop up. And uh, to know uh, definitely not when you're not shaved or by any means tapered that being able to go those times is motivating for here in about two, three weeks. That's time in three years? Yeah, yeah. I uh, went a 358 um, my, the summer going into my sophomore year of, of high school. And uh, that was really one of my breakout summers on all my events and short course as well. And uh, just hadn't clicked since. I'd gone a couple like four, four double O's, four lows, uh, 359 um, once, I think, one summer, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was the first time uh, in quite some time under, under four minutes. And, and the 200 freestyle, first time under uh, 150 since 2015. So it's a frustrating time, but I came to Tempe again for, for answers and solutions, and coaches have given me that. What kept you motivated in these last few years? Just, uh, just knowing that one day will click. I mean, I gotta give a lot of props to my support system, my mother, my father, my sister. But um, one guy especially is my brother, Kyle House. Um, he just, anytime a meet really wouldn't go the way, just say, keep saying head up, the best is yet to come. It'll come one day. Um, my dad is like really renowned for telling me at least like the hay is in the barn or some corny one-liner like that and, and it's true it might not be the results I want that one day that one season but in some aspect the work is totaled up it's been the hay is in the barn and uh, just persistence just kind of the support system I'm very thankful to have and just the belief like from coach Bowman and my coaches my whole career especially my family that they've helped kind of support me and push me along the way any answers you're looking for? We're starting to. Um, uh, in the words of Coach Bowman, we're starting to see some man swims out there. So it's uh, it's getting there, but um, the uh, the final pieces to the puzzle are in place. I don't know if they're in, in place yet, but they're being put in place. So we'll see. He has the plan. If I ever have any questions, I can go to him or any of the coaches. And uh, they are definitely, definitely taking me on the right path as I'm seeing throughout the collegiate season and definitely here now so just a process just got to trust in it and uh keep it moving thanks grant good luck
Thank you.